The Empire was seen as a malignant force that ruled the galaxy with an iron fist. But realistically, was the galaxy better or worse under Imperial control? Armored Division, hold your position and destroy any rebel ships that attempt to flee. Debark all ground troops and storm the base. And if possible, capture the rebel officers. Now, unlike many theories, this one's really going to be more down to personal perspective and point of view, so it's going to be pretty interesting. Now, the Empire's what's known as an autocracy, and it uses its colossal military to keep its people in line, what you'd call a terror state. So, straight away we're off to a bad start, and they look pretty evil. But, we need to look at the alternatives to really be able to judge just how evil the Empire actually is. To understand the Empire, we first need to understand why people allowed it to rise to power. Remember, Sidious didn't declare the dawn of his empire to the sound of boos, it was to cheers and applause. The people, or at least the galactic government, were happy to see Sidious rise to power. And why? Because he offered security and safety, and that was something that the galaxy was lacking at this point. We'll be reorganised into the first galactic empire for a safe and secure society. The Clone Wars had left the galaxy in a traumatic state. Every world the armies clashed on or that was occupied had been left in despair. People wanted peace and they were willing to surrender their freedom to get it. Okay, so granted, the Clone Wars and the Jedi's Great Betrayal were all orchestrated by Sidious, so the argument that the Empire is good is somewhat null. However, it underlines how bad of a state the galaxy was in. How one person could deceive the galaxy into declaring war, how companies had become so powerful, bring the Republic to its knees, and how politicians had become so bureaucratic and corrupt that the Senate was powerless to resist anything at all. So, the Empire is formed and instantly the military and navy are inflated. Sidious needs to stake a claim to his territory and order is restored to the galaxy. Worlds that have been left defenceless and ravaged by the Clone Wars were being pillaged by pirates and warlords, but the Imperials made short work of them, and the residents are subjected to the full Imperial law. With much of the galaxy's infrastructure in tatters, work will be plentiful as Sidious rebuilds his empire from the ashes of the Old Republic. As well as this, with Sidious' desire to craft super weapons, the galaxy saw a boom in research and development. Granted, most of these were military discoveries, but research is research. I mean, it's easy to imagine how many of the Empire's tyrannical inventions could have all manner of civic purposes. For example, imagine if the Death Star's technology had been used for mining planets for their valuable ores and resources. Another key benefit was the Empire's desire to expand. The Republic was cluttered, it didn't have the momentum it did a millennia ago. Expanse had become difficult as bureaucracy and petty politics kicked in. They had so many civilizations in their government, more was not necessary, but the Empire was constantly on the lookout to expand. Wild space, the unknown regions, they wanted the galaxy and beyond within their grasp, all species to serve Sidious and all resources to strengthen his regime. So realistically, the Empire offered law, security and a future. And yeah, when we see things in the series, they're portrayed as incredibly evil. They butcher and enslave their own people all in the name of progress. And needless to say, this is inexcusable and makes it a monster government. But how long would this last? The Empire used extreme methods to concrete its rule. Those who disrespected it were cast out, those who rebelled killed, and those who were too weak to keep up were chewed up and spit out. But the big question is, if the Empire survived, say, what would it look like 300 years in the future? Would it need to be tyrannical? Would it need to use terror as a weapon? Or would its people be born and raised into a society that was already utterly obedient and that they would be happy? Ultimately, the Empire could have potentially been a base of power that unified the galaxy under one prosperous regime. However, realistically, despite how good the Empire could have been, its brutal methods to consolidate power will always make it the antagonistic, immoral enemy of its own people. But what do you think? Could the Empire have been a shining beacon for the people of the galaxy, or was it doomed to fail? Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed, please like and sub for more Star Wars content, and follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.